Hi everybody, welcome back. One of the things I really want to stress in this introduction to CSS course is that there's this need to stop and practice and review what we've learned so far. So I'm going to make sure that I include little things that I'm going to call code together. So if you're watching this right now and you don't have your laptop next to you or whatever you're using to code, I really hope you'll stop, go get that, and code along together with me. Because just listening with me doesn't really give you the true experience. You need to type it in and make mistakes as we go along together. OK, so let's go ahead and begin. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to go back to an oldie but a goodie that we did in HTML5, and I'm going to want us to go in together and style it. All right, let's start by making our CSS file. I'm going to go ahead and create a new one now. Go up here to File, New File, or you can use Command N. And I'm, the first thing you want to do is you want to save this as a .css file, because then that way your editor knows to color things the way you want it to color. Now, whenever I'm designing pages, I keep all of my HTML files in one folder and my CSS files in another folder. And I really encourage you to do the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my CSS folder. And I'm going to call this, let's call it together1.css. It's really important that you remember to put that file extension or things aren't going to work. All right, so here's my old boring page. What people typically do is they style from the top of the page and work their way down. So I want you to pick your own values, but let's together go ahead and style my header. Oops, wrong thing here. And we can give it a background. I'm going to try um, B3, B3, B3. Um, we can give it a larger font if you want. I'm going to say font size. Let's make it 150%. Just a little bit something different. I'm going to save this. And I always really encourage students to make small changes to their code and then check and see what happened. So let's see if we changed anything over here. All right. And so now I'm going to reload it and see what happens. And if you notice, nothing happened. Well, the problem is I didn't link the style sheet correctly to the HTML file. Remember I told you I always think put things in a file called a folder called CSS? I need to include that. All right, come back, reload. Oh, hey, I've got a little bit of something going on there. All right, so now let's go ahead and, ahead and just add a few more things. I know it doesn't look exactly like my example, but one of the things I want to do next is I want to go ahead and style, let's see, my header. Let's give the entire header a background color. All right, you can pick anything you'd like. And I'm going to pick background. Um, I think I have 666. Uh, Let's see, 66666, six, 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 six. right? All right, and let's go ahead and I really want to align that text. So I'm going to call it text align center. Save, refresh. Oh, we're getting there. The page is starting to look slightly different all the time. Now, the one thing that's confusing me is it doesn't appear to like my background. So if I go back, I'm going to realize, oh, I forgot that pound sign right in front. And make one, two, three, four, five, six. Save it here, refresh, there we go. Now, these colors are really ugly and really hard for you to see, and, and I realize that. So let's go ahead and play with things to make this a little bit easier to see. Header, let's go ahead and put in, uh, let's change the H1 so it's a different color. And let's go ahead and change the navigation so that we have I'm going to change the font. Uh, let's try, try the font variant. I like the font variant. It lets you put things into uppercase, lowercase, different things like that. We also have font size. I'm still not happy with the size, so I'm going to make it 150%. And the last one I'm going to do is font family. Now, if you recall, with font family, it's very customary to give it more than one value, because not every browser supports every font family. So in my case, I'm going to go ahead and try putting in um, Arial times New Roman. If you have a font that's made up of multiple wo words, you need to put them inside the quotes. And then finally, just serif. Now, 
this is how I code. I code making mistakes. I code with typos. To be honest, I rarely code in a button-down shirt staring, looking so uncomfortable. The way to code is comfortably with a Coke and a Hershey bar so that when you're done, you have these celebratory little bites of chocolate. But for now, I'm just going to do the best I can to lead you along. All right, I changed a lot of things. Let's see what happened. Up. Oh. You can see, I'm going to make the a little bit bigger, we're starting to get there. We've got the background colors, we've got have the things like that. So let's go ahead and just style a few more things together, and then we'll go on and learn a little bit more. I would like to see you pick your own things for H2. So H2, I'm going to pick a different color. Let's try the same color, six, and a different background. I'm going to use um, 00B7. E A. So does it matter? Does it matter whether I type it as E A, uppercase, lowercase? It doesn't matter at all. The important thing is for you to usually be consistent so you don't mess yourself up as you're going back and forth. All right. We'll refresh again. All right. It's starting to look much different. This isn't a lot of style. It's only one, two, three, four, five, five rules, and we already have a much different look. I'm going to go ahead and make the screen smaller because when I put in that font size 150%, it makes a big difference. All right, one kind of last cool thing I'd like you to try to do is go ahead and try to style the summary and the details. Because if I want to make just the I grew up in Ashtabula, Ohio part, how can you make that italics but not the rest? All right, so if you remember what the HTML code looks like, let me show you a quick example, is that Right down here, I have my details tag. And if you haven't seen it before, I put the word open in, which means by default, show it as open so no one has to click on it. I've got my details. I've got my summary where the my childhood part came up. And then I have all of this part. So if you want to make that italics and only that, how do you do it? All right. What we're going to start with is we are going to style the details tag. And I'm going to scroll up here a little bit so you guys can see a little better, hopefully. And what I'm going to say is I want to make everything italic. And the way you do that is you go and you put in font style italic. Got it? Now, this isn't going to be exactly what we wanted because what I've done is I've italicized everything. So now you want to go back and say, but you know what? I don't want the summary. I don't want the summary in italics. Oops, go back here. Summary, and I can say font, oops, font style. Well, how do you make it so that it's not italics? By default, most things aren't. You can actually put in the word normal. All right. So that's it. Now we've got this part in italics and this part in bold. For the most part, we're finished, but I am going to add one little thing because it's really common for people to style their header and their footer in a very similar manner. So let's go ahead and add style my footer. And what I want to do is I want to give it the same background color that my header had. So background, one, two, three, four, five, six, boom. And there you go. So what we've done now is we've gone from a very simple, basic HTML file, and we've started adding just a little bit of color, a little bit of font size, a little different things like that. Let me show you what the original file looked like again, and we'll look at them next to each other. I'll comment out my style sheet. I'll open it up. And you can see these are two very different looking pages, but they're the exact same HTML. OK, great. These are the type of things you're going to need to do for the homework in this section. So practice here. Come back and watch me if it helps you out a little bit getting over humps. But the important thing is code, code, code. Good luck.